Auschwitz finally. Auschwitz is a former Nazi concentration camp. Right now it is open to visitors and it basically consists of two camps, Auschwitz I and Birkenau. We are gonna start our tour from Birkenau. And this is the free shuttle. After the main gate, you walk to the selection point. This is where selection process was made. Elderly women with children, they were all sent to the guest chambers for immediate death. Those who were selected to work here in the camp, they were sent to a separate building for registration. After they received their pajamas, hat and a pair of wooden gloves, they marched to the blocks to begin their life within the camp. through this entrance and took their clothes off. Then they were sent to the guest chambers to the right. The children's block was the hardest to process for me. Since the children were kept here all day, other women prisoners drew some drawings on the wall to, let's say, entertain them. And this is the shower barrack. The prisoners were allowed to take shower only once a week. That's it. That's the line to the Auschwitz. We arrived at 4 p.m. and there are no more entry passes. 
To get in as an individual after 4 p.m., you have to obtain a free ticket. The entrance is free, but you have to obtain a free ticket. We didn't know that. Um, I think we'll just have to change our plans at the end of the trip because we're still going back to Krakow. So maybe we'll see um, a bit less of Slovakia, but we'll still get into Auschwitz. I don't know. But actually, I knew that something like that would happen because when you're planning to visit 14 countries in one month, something will definitely go wrong. So I'm expecting that. I'm ready for that. That's what traveling is all about. Okay, we have to go to Czech Republic now. Let's go. spend the night here and tomorrow morning we're gonna go to Prague